Hi, I'm Denise Defara. I'm an artist. I live in Australia. And this video is about the 20 for 20 art challenge, winter 2024. Although for me, it's been summer. Um, so the Learn to Paint podcast and Kelly Ann Powers, she developed the um, 20 for 20 challenge. I think it's been going for a number of years and this is the first time I've done it. And so I thought I would flick through my journal and share with you uh, my pages and a bit about the experience for me. I was sort of surprised in a way um, because I think, you know, with the name of the podcast being Learn to Paint, it was on my mind that for the most part people would probably be painting. And I had been having various health issues and all kinds of things toward the end of last year and you know then the Christmas break and I thought the first of January yeah I absolutely want to get back into painting or get back into my studio and go 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 new year sort of thing and so I thought well the challenge could be a really good way to do that so that was my, my most my thinking of signing up and then Kelly presents some questions as you begin and so that you Think of what you want to get out of it. And for me, it was showing up, having fun, um, doing doing the, the whole challenge, I think. I can't remember what else I might have put. Um, and so I thought I would just go with it and see. And so then on the day one, the I started to see the reference material. And oh, that was the other thing I decided. My theme would be still life. Whatever that meant for me, uh, my theme would be still life. So I noticed that a number of the references were not still life. Some of them were. Some of them were more landscapes and things like that. And that just doesn't resonate with me as a subject I'm interested in painting at the moment. You know, that could change. Um, so you'll see, I'll share with, my, with you my pages now and um, I'll let you know which ones were reference material images um, in the challenge and the others that I found or created myself. Okay, let's see. This was my first one. It was a vase that I had already set up. I found this bunch of hydrangeas. So I did that really roughly and painterly and that was okay. Next one. This was a reference picture in the challenge. Um, it had a very dark background and so I found it kind of difficult-ish to bring out that, that sort of foliage. So I enjoyed doing a sort of contour drawing of it first. And I think this is when the drawing started to sneak in on day two already. And I, I noticed I kind of enjoyed this more than this in a way. So I found at day three that this was not um, in the challenge. So I went on Pinterest and just found some beautiful clay bowls and cup on a table and did a little drawing of them. Um, and what I noticed, I've started to write sometimes how long it took. This one was only five minutes. And then I, I said I lost patience. I, like I, I felt done. Do you know what I mean? I, that was it and so this 20 for 20 has been taking on interesting kind of meaning and asking me questions in a way uh, i repainted that one probably on that same day because that happened so quickly i thought all right let me bring some paint to it um this one only took 12 minutes so still didn't get to that 20 minute time frame and just noticing kind of my impatience but also sort of enjoying the looseness. This was a reference picture and I zoomed in on it, the sort of cocktail with the limes. Um, yeah, I quite love high contrast. So there's a lot about this that I sort of enjoy. Um, probably that. Yeah, I kind of enjoy bits of that. This was another reference one in the challenge, number five, and it took me 13 minutes and then I, I was over it. So I was just noticing myself becoming over things quite quickly. Also noticing 
I like the looseness and I thought, well, if I keep going, what am I going to do other than maybe neaten it up? I didn't mind the colour of the paper behind. So it was all in the idea that keep this fun. If, it, if you don't feel like doing any more, just don't. So I just sort of made it so that I could keep on doing it. So that's day five. Day six, I felt this was a crazy, horrific mess. Love that. But I have a piece of Merameco fabric and I was using it as a tablecloth with a bowl of limes. And I just think this is very, um, very not good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's sort of irritating to see this one. So I hone in and go, all right, well, I love that. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, I love these leaf loose leaves. So that was interesting. It made me realize, ah, the loose, um, the loose finish that I really, really enjoy doesn't lend itself every single time because the beauty, I realize, the beauty of the Marameco floral is its precision, beautiful neatness. And they're just so striking. And when it's messy and just done loose, it loses the, the beautiful design quality that I fell in love with in the fabric. So that was interesting to notice and evaluate. This was a reference image in the challenge. So I tried doing a couple of contour drawings. It's sort of, it's not something I've done a heck of a lot of in my life, contour drawing, but I'm, it's starting again to sneak up on me. I'm loving how those kind of things are being invited in by doing this challenge. Um, and so it only took me six minutes to do those contour drawings. So then I decided to do a, a sort of a drawing and color these in with the neo colors and bring a bit of color. So, you know, I kind of enjoyed that. I look at that page and it feels a little bit satisfying. So that's okay. This is an image of a photo, a paint, a drawing of a photo. But I've made up a bunch of those plates on the wall. Um, so this is another, so this is number eight. Um, obviously it wasn't in the challenge. I had to find something and make it up. Um, I quite enjoyed a lot of this. I liked, I liked this. I have a fixation for, I'd love to be able to have these plates on some of the walls of my paintings and I'm keeping on practicing how I might do that because I haven't happened upon a way that's working for me yet. But in drawings things work differently and often can work quite well. That simplicity of fine black line on this particularly off-white paper is really happy making to me. It doesn't take much. I, I can do a very messy drawing and be pretty happy with it. So that's lovely when you can give yourself an arena that you can feel some satisfaction or even um, sense of achievement by doing something really quite small. It's nice in your art practice to just keep you going, keep you moving. This is an image on Pinterest, a still life um, image. It was a beautiful, um, I think they were like onions or snowdrop type flowers, like a bulb hidden in a very dark background, dark bookshelf. And I found that quite lovely. And this one I just drew. So I think I just did the both of these on the same day um, because they didn't take all that long and I was enjoying doing those. This was a reference image, um, number 11. Uh, I like the, I don't hate it, it's okay. Um, uh, I think I enjoy the bottle and, and the leaves and the looseness there the most out of that picture. This is my shelf on my studio, on my um, table in my studio. So I just did a really loose drawing that took 15 minutes. Um, and I did this shape, which was meant to be this, and it was all wrong. And I thought, I'm gonna just keep going. And then I just turned it into a, a container to hold some journaling and notes about how I was feeling. So that became something I was really happy with. It made me feel a lot of joy. 
again this high contrast and spots and patterns and little faces all these kinds of things are just so repetitive in my work and they bring me joy so you know a little cup these are all the symbols that I return to over and over so a simple picture like that taken from my um, my own surroundings made me feel quite nurtured and sort of nourished in a way by just helping me to be helping you to tune into the moment of where you are is what one of the gifts of drawing this one nope this is our own kitchen bench philip had made an apple cake there was a wine bottle somewhere that's a pumpkin some nectarines in a bowl and me having a cup of tea um, so that was day 13 sunday afternoon um, I think I'd missed a day, so I did that on the 14th, so this is what happened. On the weekends, I was often finding it hard to get to the practice, um, so I would pick it up the next day or two. So that is sort of contour, loose-ish, loose and then, you know, drawing the shapes. This was in the reference material. These are cherry tomatoes on a breadboard with garlic. found it really tricky to draw the garlic. Um, a capsicum, a patterned tablecloth, uh, a little plant, and that was a sort of a, a ceramic plate with a star, a sun design on it. So it would have been a whole lot different if it was painted, you know, with all of the nuances and depths of colour and the bright tomatoes and things. But I just sort of stuck with my line drawing because that is what I've been enjoying the most and it was allowing me to get this thing done because that was one of my goals I had to do it um, and this one took nine minutes I had obviously not much patience at all that day um, that was a big bunch of roses that were in a vase um, and so I just drew them like you know just drew them real fast and that that's just so that I could say I've done the thing again five minutes so yeah noticing I haven't had much patience for the challenge some days this one um, day 16 this was actually the anniversary of my mum's death eight years ago and so I was having a kind of quiet introspective day thinking a lot about my mum and she had a love of Mary and um, and this sort of greenery in a vase here, which I had on my shelf. So I just sort of did light contour drawings and noticed they're a little bit wonky and all that, but it didn't really matter. The essence that they held was quite comforting and doing a little drawing, a little journaling, thinking about my mum was really comforting. So I'm loving that these simple drawings can also um, not only bring you into presence but so they can bring some comfort too when you bring your thoughts with them this is an image that I found um, again so number 17 this one took 10 minutes uh, just doing the loose drawing again enjoying the patterns this this is a piece of fabric I bought from Japan so again and I was trying to be a little neater having learned from the Marameko fabric these are all black they should all be black but I um, ran out of time to color them all in this is an image that I drew and it was on the front of a greeting card that I've got and it was sitting over to the side somewhere and this is just a vase with some greenery that I had so I kind of had this set up like a little still life and the card was leaning up against and so I just took the card away and made it like uh, a little um, chair with a lady on it and I found that really quite enjoyable uh, the quirkiness of that is very endearing to me and then it causes me to do a little journaling about it which you know I love that now here we go day 19 and so I'd, I couldn't even log in, something happened with my login. So I had given up entirely on looking up the official reference material for the day. And I had two paintings that I have been working on and I um, 
have been talking about them on my YouTube, which will come in future episodes. Um, and so I thought, oh, why don't I draw the design, sort of what I've got painted, and see what comes of that. And I was able to make some notes and have some thoughts about the way they came out. Because in the original drawings, uh, paintings, these two frames were not figures. They were something else. And I realized how much I love having a figure in the picture. So that was day 19, and this took 20 minutes to do those to um, sketches of my paintings. And so then day 20, the last day, I just did this one and I did the same thing again. This is another painting that I have been, had done, really loved it. And so it also gives me a chance to keep a copy of the design with, in my drawing, my notes. So when the painting sells, I still have that. So um, that, that was really made me happy as well. So that's the end of the 20 for 20 challenge pictures. And then it, it's invited me to keep going. So that, that's all so far, but uh, another one of the painting in this series. So how satisfying it is to see the series arriving on my um, sketchbook pages. This is an art creation talents um, sketchbook and I highly recommend it. They are very, very lovely to work in. Thank you.